Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to A Capsule Selection. Today, I want to talk about something special, and that thing is Zerzhov's 1717 Stone Collection. For me, understanding this collection, I understand that there's something irresistible about fall fragrances, especially those with a magnetic allure that women cannot resist on men. Today, we're diving into Zerzhov's 1717 Collection. We're going to explore all the underrated masterpieces that bring out a true, luxurious, and sensual side for the perfect autumn season. These fragrances are Symphonium, Home Anniversary, Rich Wood, and Pica Adama. They all offer bold, refined profiles, making them some of the best perfumes for men that women truly love in the autumn season. So if this sounds like the type of content you think you'll enjoy, pull up a seat, pour a glass, and of course, let's enhance. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to The Dry Down, the lifestyle channel where we as enthusiasts aspire to enhance and elevate our olfactive sensory experiences through the understanding of the different aromas, faucets, and nuances of scent, cigars, and wines. I'm your host, Chris. Welcome to today's experience. As I stated, we're going to dive into a beautiful list of fragrances. This is one from the House of Zerzhov, the 1717 collection, which is known as, and it's known for its intricate blends of luxurious ingredients and deep sense of sophistication. They are ideal for anyone looking to elevate their fragrance game, and that is truly what I'm here to present to you guys. So in this video, we're going to uncover all the masculine scents that I've purchased for the House of Zerzhov 1717. Especially these go off great in fall and are often overlooked when they deserve much more place in the fragrance lover's collection. Each of these fragrances to me brings out a unique twist. They capture the warmth and mysteriousness of the season with an undeniable allure. So first we're going to start off with one of the best fragrances in that collection. And ladies and gentlemen, that scent is Symphonium. For me, Symphonium is the mysterious allure of spice and gourmand touches and tones. It is a very beautiful fragrance that is perfect encapsulation of a night out in autumn. To me, as we get a swift of this particular scent. What you get from this one is a blending of rich spices with sweet gourmand touches. So imagine with this particular scent, walking into a warm, dimly lit lounge. It's kind of filled with laughter and intrigue. That's the type of environment you want to wear this one into. So Symphonium basically embodies that sensation. You know, It opens with this rich, beautiful cardamom spice that is also delicately blended with a touch of citrus. It draws you in, it just, before unraveling to the heart of dark, sweet, chocolate, resinous oud woods. The chocolate in this one has a great amount of depth. It's the woodiness and that chocolate that create the lingering warmth that feels perfect for fall nights as you come to smell this particular scent. So Symphonium's addictive quality and blend of spice and sweetness is sensual yet mysterious, while also making it a great gourmand scent for men that women find absolutely captivating. If you are searching for a fragrance that has those warm qualities, spicy qualities, and an unforgettable scent trail, Symphonium is a hidden gem in the particular collection of 1717 stone uh, from the House of Zerzhov that goes off with great levels of sophistication while still being a, a very sensuous and alluring type of fragrance. So if you are in the market for that style of fragrance, get your nose on Symphonium. This one, like I stated, Belgium chocolate, ooh, agar wood, a little bit of musk and mandarin, but it's overall a very woody take on chocolate, dark chocolate scents. And this is, to me, one of the best in the marketplace. So once again, Symphonium, 1717 collection. First off in the masterpieces of the 1717 Stone Collection. Gentlemen, as the list continues, as I continue to bring about a great selection from the House of Zerzhov, this is Ohm Anniversary, which is just elegance, just redefined. To me, picking up this fragrance was one I knew I had to do because I did enjoy the actual scent of home in its traditional form. Now this anniversary edition captured me even more with this alluring take with the candy fruits they put inside of it. The bottle presentation is just a gorgeous one. You have this, the beautiful um, black pearl inlet stone inside of it. And it's a gorgeous, gorgeous bottle. It has gold flakes inside of it. But off, after all, what the fragrance brings is a timeless elegance to the cooler month. It is a sophisticated blend that emphasizes the power of just understatement. This one has the great freshness up top with the bergamot and tarragon, which quickly settles into a rich, woody base with hints of moss, leather, and exuding an aura of quiet confidence, which I love about leather fragrances from the House of Zerzhov. This one in particular is the leather and clove combination that gives a smooth yet powerful edge. 
And that edge is one that we all look for in creating a collection and wardrobe of fragrances. We want something that's off the beaten path, but so much that it can be a still alluring type of scent that brings in others. And so while vanilla adds a refined touch that's both soothing and seductive to this particular scent, the fragrance exudes an aura of classic masculinity because it evokes the elegant charm of a well-tailored suit. If you think about how this leather, the pepper, the Madagascar, um, what a, the, the Madagascar tonka bean that they use in this one, they actually do use a Madagascar tonka bean. Orange blossom is in the mid of this one, which creates this slight floral undertone. But as a fall fragrance, the men that get the compliments are the ones that wear these particular scents because women adore these unaccomplished smelling men. Om Anniversary is a smooth and refined fragrance that is designed to impress without trying too hard. And that's also a calling card statement for this particular style of scent. So if you want something to create a new hallmark for yourself and be elegant, refined, and also something that's off the beaten path, this one is a great one to go for. It is a statement and quiet luxury for the intimate dinner nights or late night gatherings with friends and family, or even just the intimate night at home. It's great for men to wear these particular sets because they have an edge and a great evolution on skin. And with this one, it's the leathery take on candied fruits, vanilla, and the aromatic take of a sweet, warm moss and tarragon. And you're gonna love it when you get your nose on it, especially with the sophisticated gentleman. So that is 1717 Collections Home Anniversary. This is the new one to my collection from this actual um, offering that they have. And I love this one now, man. I've worn this about three or four days, um, three or four full wearings, and this one I'm truly enjoying. So get your nose on that one if you are looking for elegance redefined. Home Anniversary. Next up on the list, ladies and gentlemen, this is the one that got it all started for me when it comes to the House of Zerjoff 1717 collection. And this is the ultimate Woody masterpiece from that line. If you can see there, this is the Tiger's Eye stone in the middle of that one a very beautiful golden juice um, this is the 100 mil bottle the other ones i have are 50 mil but this one is just it fits so well on the shelf man it, it was something i had to have in this 100 mil form because like i said this is the ultimate woody masterpiece for me so when it comes to the scent of bridgewood let's get a scent of this one on the blotter what this one does for me and what it's done for many other as i state this one as being the masterpiece because this one is truly adored by the masses this one here is a scent that has a rich 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 wood standout and that's the beautiful part about that one with this sandalwood and patchouli base it just comes off very refined and well rich wood to me is a intense yet smooth combination of creamy earthy tones that envelop you like a cashmere sweater it is something that has a hint of rose and vanilla adding a touch of warmth and a little bit of complexity it has some softness and some bold woody cores without taking any way from its depth to me what Richwood does is both a grounding and sensual fragrance because it captures the essence of a brisk autumn walk, which you can tell yourself going on with this particular scent. And it has the beauty of nature from the geranium smelling, um, the bergamot, the rich natural Mysore sandalwood is in this one. And that richness is something that creates a warm woodiness along with this peculiar take on a resinous feel that is not listed. It has a lot of um, black currant bud in the open, which makes it a little bit um, austere. It has a lot of Sisters Labdenum, which may lead to that resinous feel, but to me, the Sisters Labdenum in this one is more appealing as a sweetness than it is a balsam. But at the end of the day, on this one, it's a beautiful fragrance that is making a perfect woody fragrance for men, something accessible with a floral touch to it. It is classic and contemporary, which to me, it's more than just a scent. It is something that is an experience that fills the air with a lasting impression that anybody would like to comment on and give you that comforting hug and understand that what you're wearing is something alluring. That's in something that will be a fragrance that women embrace with and also something they remember. And that's the one thing that we love about the Zerjoff 1717 collection offering of Richwood. To me, a beautiful woody masterpiece. Get your nose on that one if you're interested in something that has a great use of Mysore sandalwood with the bergamot, you know, that, that opening vibrance of Zerjoff's fruit citruses that they always make an exemplary accord of and then use the rose base with the patchouli that comes off so refined and so well in addition to that uh, Mysore sandalwood. So get your nose on this one guys. This is a masterpiece as well. This is the ultimate woody masterpiece, Richwood. Ladies and gentlemen, last on the list. Now I pick no favorites, but this one here is the one that caught me so far off guard that it actually 
has become something that I'm more intrigued by in this collection than the rest of them. This is Pico Valladama, which to me is the enigmatic floral fragrance for men to have in their collection. This is the ultimate wardrobe building fragrance. When you have fragrances that you want to really stand out and you want to take something to the next level, be more of a connoisseur or an aficionado in your wardrobe building, this is the type of floral fragrance that you want to go for. This one to me has a lot of floral scent that is often associated with femininity, but Pico Valladama is just so just refined it just changes the narrative for me. When I when I picked this one up at first, when I first sampled this years ago, I could not pull it off. But as I began to understand what a lot of these scents do for me as a man, with no doubt about anything about this one, it comes off unisex, but that way that the masculinity portrays itself with the mid of this fragrance, you can't come off um, any way other than luxury refined. And so for me, the complex fragrance of this one that opens with a vibrant mix of bergamot, a vibrant mix of lemon and neroli. Let me get a whiff of it again. This one here, man, it, like I said, the vibrant mix of bergamot and neroli, it, it, it's this enveloping, enveloping scent that is so sensual and beautiful. And that all happens before it starts to move into a heart of iris, nutmeg, and incense. And to me, the most beautiful part about this particular fragrance is the actual incense accord in this one. That's the part that captured me most and has held me accosted by what this fragrance does. Because the way the initial freshness of the citrus notes gives way to the refined powdery elegance of this particular scent with that coriander slightly, um, what they call the coriander note is slightly aldehydic in this one. It gives a blend of florals and earthy undertones that feel unexpected yet beautiful for fall. As a masculine floral fragrance, it is one that I have a great appreciation for because of its daring, unique composition. I'm one who has very much so fallen in love with this, and I think that many of you guys who have either become one that knows what the floral scent can do for you or one that expects something um, for your fragrances going forward or you want something that's off the beaten path as I like to state, this one has the hallmark of modern yet timeless sophistication and mysteriousness which has an appeal that is right up my alley when it comes to masculine fragrances. This is one that you can sit by the fireplace or have a cozy lit room with a nice candle lit close by and be in a very cocooning loving situation. There are no boundaries when it comes to this one. You can very much so push the boundaries with your clothing. You can do casual with this one because of some of the components of this one come off slightly laid back. You no, know, you could wear just a jumper or a suit or a blazer or you can even take it down to just a casual um, knitwear. But it's a true masterpiece to me that is um, coming to my collection and actually done a great job of filling a void that I had in my collection. So at the end of the day, the enigmatic floral fragrance for men that I love to call this one is Pick by Adama and it is the last on my list of masculine fragrances from the 1717 collection that just come off beautifully. Once again, I love this fragrance man. Get your nose on it. It's one that I was, like I said, I was. it was hard for me to wear, but now it's it's such an easy grab for me. That is Pick a Valladama, man. Get your nose on if you can. Ladies and gentlemen, that is my video for you guys today. I hope as always you guys got something entertaining and educational from this particular video. As I stated, this 1717 collection is full of unique fragrances for men that really divide um, convention. They just make perfect fall fragrances for any man's wardrobe. These fragrances to me are for the discerning man, but they have to appreciate fine craftsmanship. And if you do that, you become a connoisseur and an aficionado of this grain. So if you love craftsmanship and fine ingredients, this is the house choice to go to. It offers everything like I just showed you from gourmand richness of symphonium, the redefined elegance of home anniversary, the grounding woods of rich wood, and also the enigmatic floral touch of Pika Valladama. So if these are things you're interested in, just tap in below, let me know. I got more information if you wanna talk about it in the comment section below. And as always, if you enjoyed this content, all that I ever ask that you do is leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Send this off to a friend, let them know that we here at The Dried Out are building one of the best channels in YouTube. And until next time, until next video, you guys have a blessed day. Peace.